How to create a quiz app without coding. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and in this video I'll show you a simple way on how to create a quiz app without coding. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will guide you through the entire process of building your own quiz app, from designing the layout and adding engaging questions to customizing the visuals and incorporating interactive elements. We've got you covered. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create your own quiz app that you can share with your friends, family, or customers. First, what you want to do is just scroll down below on the video to the description and click on the first link you find there. Then you're going to come across this platform, Jotform. And Jotform is a powerful online form builder that allows you to easily design and customize various types of forms, including quizzes. With its user-friendly interface and drag-and-drop functionality, you can create captivating quizzes tailored to your specific needs. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To create a quiz app with Jotform, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. There you'll find various options for signing up. You can choose to sign up with your Google or Facebook account, or you can use your email address. Select the option that works best for you and follow the steps to create a new account. Once you've completed the sign-up process, you'll be directed to your Jotform account. To get started, navigate to the top left side of the Jotform dashboard and click on the My Forms option. This will display a drop-down menu with various options. Select the My Apps option from this menu. Upon clicking My Apps, you will be directed to the My Apps page, which shows any existing apps you have created. If you haven't created any apps yet, this page will be empty. To create a new app, click on the Create App button located at the top left side of the page. Clicking on the Create App button will take you to another page where you will find four different options. These options include starting from scratch with a blank page, using a pre-built template, cloning an existing app, or building a store to collect orders through your online store. For this tutorial, we will select the Use Template option to build our quiz app using one of the pre-built templates. Clicking on this option will redirect you to the template store where you can browse through various types of templates. The templates are conveniently organized in the left menu, allowing you to choose from different categories. Alternatively, you can use the search bar to find a specific template. Because we want to build a quiz app, the first step is to search for the keyword quiz in the search bar. This will display various templates related to quizzes. From these options, you can choose a template that aligns with your expectations and requirements. In this tutorial, we will select the template titled Quiz App. After selecting the template, click on the Preview option located beneath it. This action will open an on-screen window where you can get a preview of the app. Within this window, click on the Use Template option to proceed. The template may take a few moments to load, but once it does, you'll be directed to the template's interface. Upon opening the template, you will notice three main sections, Build, Settings, and Publish. These sections allow you to customize the template based on your preferences and needs. The Build section of the Quiz App template is the initial and most critical stage in creating your customized app. This section allows you to personalize the design and layout of the chosen template according to your preferences and requirements. By accessing the Build section, you can shape the overall appearance and functionality of your Quiz App. The template we have selected features a user-friendly interface. As you scroll down, you are presented with a series of pages that make the app. The first page serves as the home page, providing an overview of the various types of quizzes available within the app. Here you can overview the types of quizzes your app offers. In our case, the app offers Friends Quiz, Disney Quiz, Joker Quiz, and Rick and Morty Quiz. Each quiz type has its dedicated page that users can access by simply clicking on the corresponding option. For example, if a user clicks on the Disney option, they will be directed to the dedicated Disney quiz page. Here, they can begin answering questions related to this specific theme. This organized structure ensures that users can easily navigate through the app and find the quizzes they are interested in. Furthermore, if you want to add a new page to your app, there are two methods to do this. Firstly, you can locate the Add New Page option located between the existing pages of the app. Clicking on this option instantly generates a new page where you can add content relevant to your needs. 
Alternatively, the Add Page button, located at the bottom right side of the template interface, offers another option for adding new pages. By clicking on this button, a new page is created at the end of the existing page sequence, providing you with the flexibility to incorporate diverse elements and content as desired. These options for adding new pages empower you to expand and customize your quiz app effectively. Customizing the content of the quiz app template is a straightforward process that allows you to modify text, pictures, buttons, and more. To begin customizing the existing content, simply click on the specific element you want to update and the right sidebar will open to display options for customization. For example, if you wish to change the name of the app, you can do so by clicking on the current app name, which in our case is Quiz App. Once clicked, the right sidebar will open, presenting three different sections for customization. In the General section, you can modify the app name by navigating to the App Title field and replacing Quiz App with the desired name for your app. Similarly, you can alter the app description within the App Description field. In the Logo section of the right sidebar, you can change the app's logo. Additionally, you can adjust the size of the logo to fit your preferences. The Style section allows you to customize the background color, background image, text color, and even the alignment of the header to the left, center, or right. This method can be applied to customize other sections of the template as well by selecting the desired element, such as text or images, and accessing the right sidebar, you can make precise modifications to suit your needs. Furthermore, besides customizing existing content, you also have the option to add new elements to the app. To do this, navigate to the left side of the template interface and click on the Add Element option. This action will open a left sidebar that presents various elements you can incorporate into your app. Basic elements like forms, headings, paragraphs, links, images, as well as widgets including data grids, PDF embedders, and fit text are available for inclusion. Additionally, the Navigation Settings option, located at the bottom right side of the template interface, allows you to manage properties related to the navigation menu. Here, you can toggle the navigation on or off, show icons, change menu names, and more. Once you have completed customizing your app, you can preview it by clicking on the Preview App option, located on the right side of the template interface. This allows you to see how your app will appear on different devices such as phones, tablets, and desktops, ensuring a seamless user experience across various platforms. After customizing the design and layout of your quiz app in the Build section, you can proceed to customize the app settings in the Settings section. When you click on this section, you will be directed to a page where you can modify various aspects of your app, including the app settings, app name and icon, and splash screen. By managing these settings according to your preferences, you can ensure that your app reflects your desired specifications. Once you have made the necessary changes, you can move on to the next step. In the Publish section, you are provided with options to share and embed your app. To share your app with others, you can click on the Quick Share section. Here you will find a shareable link that you can copy and send to others, allowing them to access your app. Additionally, you will have the option to invite people via email, granting them viewing access to your app. If you wish to provide a quick and convenient method for accessing your app, you can download a QR code by clicking on the Download QR Code button. This QR code can be scanned by users to directly access your app. Moreover, you can open your app in a new tab to see how it looks by clicking on the Open in New Tab button. For those who want to embed their app within a WordPress website, the Embed section provides an embed code that can be copied and pasted onto any WordPress page or post. This allows you to seamlessly integrate your app into your website, enhancing user engagement and interaction. By utilizing the options available in the Publish section, you can effectively share and distribute your app, whether through direct links, email invitations, QR codes, or embedded content on your website. And there you have it, a beginner's guide on how to create a quiz app using JotForm. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.